What's up guys, it's Lewis here with another Affinity Photo tutorial. This time I'm going to make it super quick so that you can all just get it done and then ask me any questions you want in the comments below because I love answering them and I'm getting a lot of questions so it's cool. Today we're going to be talking about the selection brush tool. So that's a brush tool which you use to select funnily enough. Uh, <laughs> the shortcut for this one, it's up here, defaults um, up here, you can obviously change all this but default you'll find the selection brush tool right here and the default shortcut is W. So just go ahead and press W. Uh, this is a photo I took at the Top Gear Festival in Sydney last year. I was covering it for a, um, a website and I thought I would just talk about how to use it. So there was a part of the show where they had a drift thing, uh, drift showcase. It's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the tool. So basically as soon as you press W or this button, you get these here, which will obviously add. We'll, I'm just going to do it on the car because that's, I kind of don't like how it, the photo looks like it's contrasted, but it's actually just because it was so smoky <laughs> from all the tire smoke. So um, this is obviously a bit too big right now because I just want to get the car. So if I click here, see it, it does a bit too much, right? And you can, you know, overdo it and then, so yeah, that, that'll be about it. And then you can subtract and try and get in there. But, you know, it, look, it kind of works, but it's a lot easier just to go up here, go to add. Um, so I'm just going to command Z all that away, go up to add and then the default is 64 pixels, but you just click here and you can type in what you want, but it's a lot easier just to use this. I find uh, if you want to edit an exact amount of pixels, but I find it's easier just to drag it and then let's see. Yeah. See, that's much better, isn't it? Look at that. Perfect. Try not to get too much of the smoke in and you can just drag it. There's a lot. It's really how it's personal preference, isn't it? Because you can you can just drag or you can click, and it should do it. But I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So let's bring it down to that. Subtract. I'm just going to Command Plus it zooms in, obviously, and the Hand tool up here, which the shortcut for is H for Hand, and just you, you can click that, and then you can move around, and then Command Plus again if you're on a Mac. Well, you will be on a Mac, so Command Plus. Um, back to the selection tool and then you can just, you can actually do it down to one pixel, which I might do just to show you. Let's go three. That's pretty small. So make sure you're adding. There we go. It's good enough. And let's just get that little bit in there because I'm a perfectionist like most photographers. Uh, take that, 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 and then I'm just going to subtract again because I'm a perfectionist. Bring that in. Cool. And there's a bit there I missed on the roof, isn't there? Cool. All right. That looks about right. I might bring it in here too. There. Whoops. Too much. So. How easy was that? at it. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, another quick little thing I'm going to show you how to do is if you go to you go select or command B and then you can make it wider to cover it all, smaller, whatever. But I pretty much, um, I pretty much was happy with how I had it like that. It's good enough. And then, yeah, you can do whatever you want to and it'll only affect whatever's in the, um, Oh, I missed a bit there too, didn't I? It'll only affect what's in the the selection zone. So if I want to make it black and white, you can just go black and white. Even though the car is pretty much black and white, so you can't really can't really see what I just did then. So I'll choose something else. Um, let's warm up the white balance. So then, yep, all you know, it's all there. You can do whatever you want, but anything on the outside won't be affected. So yeah, you can make it. Whatever you want to do, play with the color balance, make it, let's make it like, you know, you can do whatever you want. So there you go. That's um, a pretty quick tutorial to, for how to use the selection brush tools. So, and then when you're done, you just file, export, save as, whatever you want to do, just get her done.
And just another quick thing, I know I've spoken about the inpainting brush tool before, but I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it using the selection brush tool. Um, let's just select that guy. So you bring it down to, yep, yep, that's the guy. And then you just go up to edit. So it's on the menu, edit, inpaint. And he's gone. Look at that. I love that tool. That is the greatest tool ever. So that's using the exact same tutorial that I just told you where you can, if you, whatever's inside that will be in painted away and you can do it with anything. So that's pretty awesome. As always, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or tweet at me. Seriously, I've had a couple of questions from people private messaging me being like, this has been embarrassing. I don't know how to do this, but feel free to post them in the comments. Any negativity I will remove. So feel free. We're all learning and it's all fun doesn't need to be a serious, you know, no one needs to get angry. So it's all good. All right. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video.